Hey guys, my name is Carbra and welcome to the series where I teach you how to manipulate images in Python. If you end up doing stuff that involves profile pictures for example, then you may want to make the image circular or you may want to round some edges if you think they're too hard. And masks are really good for that. They're used for a lot more than that as well, but these are the examples that I'm going to go over in this video just to kind of get the basics of using a mask across. Of course, if you find the video helpful at any point, then hit the like button to let me know and consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future installments in the series. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's get into it. A theme with a lot of the videos in the in the series so far is that we've had an extra import for every single one, and this final one isn't any different. Um, well, I say final, there'll be a request coming. If you do have a request for stuff that you want to see, then do let me know in the uh, in the comments below. Uh, I've already got a few uh, that are pretty cool that I'm going to do as as case studies. But if there's any particular um, things that you want me to cover, then do uh, then do let me know. So we're going to be doing masks in this video. So masks are quite a complicated field. There is a lot you can do with them. However, as I alluded to in the intro, we're only gonna do some basic stuff with them in this. So we're gonna have if name equals main, we're gonna start uh, as the same as same as ever, uh, except we are gonna open now, we're gonna open our Ferrari image. I believe it's just called Ferrari, uh, as that is our square image. And then we need to do m equals m dot convert um, RGBA. Essentially what we're going to be doing is making this image circular because if I go into it at the moment, it's really rather square and we don't want it to be square. We want it to be circular. Um, you know, circular images are generally better when it's on top of something else. So to make it circular, uh, we can do just make circular and then im. And then we can do mask uh, equals image dot new. And then we're gonna have our, we're gonna put it in the luminance color space, meaning we only have uh, blacks, grays, and whites to deal with. Image dot size, so we're gonna make it the same size. And we're gonna have zero. I'm pretty sure this is the color. Um, I don't fully remember. Either way, it's necessary. Uh, so we have our draw context, image draw dot draw, and then mask. So this, so this mask as was the grade in the last video, kind of like a um uh, a layer, not well, a layer really. And we're gonna draw dot ellipse. So you'll remember this from episode what was it three? Um, except we're gonna draw a circle. But we're gonna fill um our circle with two fifty five. So anything that's 255 is considered turn on, anything that's zero is turn off. So when we actually apply the mask, then everything with zero will be removed from the actual image. So we have a out equals image ops dot fit im mask dot size uh, centering equals 0.5, oops, 0.5. This just places the mask in the correct place. And then out dot put alpha mask, and then return out. So we don't actually return the the input image. We actually return uh, a brand new image. So essentially, what this is doing is it's just getting rid of all the stuff on the corners. So everything in the mask that is black and not white, we're getting rid of. We don't want it. We only want what was highlighted as white in the the circle in the center. So if you go down to the bottom now, and we do um, m equals make, or actually we could do a circular m, equals make circular m and then 100, no we don't, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, <laughs> and then we do m, oh it'd be uh, circular m, dot save, uh, dot slash images, that would be saved images. Uh, oh my god, I cannot type. Uh, and then circular Ferrari dot, and then this needs to be a PNG. If we run that, uh, where did this tune 2FS come from? What the? Okay. That was weird. <laughs> um, oh, it was a syntax error. Oh, I didn't run it as a Python thing. I'm kind of dumb. Okay. Uh, uh, the images. Uh, can't multiply by sequence of non-int to tuple. Oh, because it's a mul it's a plus, not a multiply. I'm getting confused with my operators here. There we go. So we now have our circular Ferrari. So as you can see, 
still love it. Uh, we have the image is transparent off at the edges. And then we have our Ferrari in the middle. So as you can see, we have this checkerboard button in the corners. Um, however, that doesn't actually appear in other applications. If you open, open it in an image view, for example, the checkerboard would be different. If you open it in Firefox, it wouldn't be a checkerboard at all. That's an indication that this alpha is just being like represented by whatever it is. However, if I were to, actually, if I could quickly launch GIMP, that might be an idea to kind of show that it's um, the alpha is actually working. So if I just do a new image 1920 by, and then just leave it blue. And if I go to open and then, okay, give me one second. Oh no, it's actually right here. There you go, so put it in here. You can see that we, that there's no checkerboard here at all. We can see the blue uh, either side. And so the image has actually got a proper alpha. So you don't need to worry about the checkerboard. That's just showing you that the it's it's gone. So that is how you make profile pictures or square images circular. However, there may be the situation where you just want to round the edges. You don't necessarily want to make them circular. And this is where I was getting a bit ahead of myself before because you actually supply a default radius. So if I do round uh, edges, base, oh, uh, not base, im, and then radius, I'm still getting confused. Uh, so you can do this with circular or rectangular images. I think you can do that with this as well, except it's a bit, it will just cut out more of it, uh, I'm pretty sure, if you were to do it like that. But make circular makes it actually circular and then round images, uh, or sorry, round edges keeps the aspect ratio, just rounds them. So this one is actually quite a bit more complicated than the other one. So we're gonna do mask, um, oh God, I need to oil this mic really. <laughs> um, new, and then a capital L again, and then we need a radius times two, and then a radius times two, and then a zero once again. So the reason we're doing radius times two is because we actually want diameter, but we generally pass in uh, radii for these sort of things. I believe that is the um, the plural, but it will make sense why we pass radii in rather than radiuses in the end. If that's not an actual word, I've just made myself look like an idiot. But uh, <laughs> oh well, it's not like I do that on a daily basis anyway. Well, it's not like I don't do that on a daily basis anyway. Whichever one of those is correct. <laughs> Whichever one of those insinuates I'm an idiot is the one that I mean. <laughs> uh, so we do radius times two and then radius times two once again. And then we do fill equals two, five, five to show that we want to keep those bits. And then we actually need to do another layer. Uh, image dot new, same um, L or same luminance mode. And then we actually need to make this one image.size. And then we need to make this one 255. So we need to, to fill it all with white. And then for simplicity's sake, we take the width and the height as an image size. And then we start getting a bit messy with this. So we do alpha.paste, um, mask.crop, uh, and then in a tuple, zero, zero, radius, radius, and then our box equals zero, zero. So essentially what all of this is doing is it's just pasting an alpha on top of the image um, after it has cropped the mask to be a, a, a segment. So here we're starting from the top left corner and then we're saying that the bottom right corner is actually the center of the image um, or in this case, the center of the circle. So we're only taking a quarter of it because we're only going as far on the x-axis as the radius, which is the halfway across it, and we're only going as far on the y-axis as the radius as well, so we're only going halfway down it. So we're taking a quarter of the circle, and we are pasting that image onto the alpha. I don't actually know what the box does. I genuinely have no idea. I think this places it. I, th I, th I think this kind of says where to actually put the paste. I think, but I don't actually know. I just know it's necessary. Um, but I think that's what it's doing, at the very least. Uh, this is, yeah. As someone that isn't like a, a hugely avid image editor, um, this is quite complicated to get my head around um, at times. 
but um, I tried my best. So H equals radius. It's just a really useful function to have, and I yeah, I th I thought I'd show it off regardless. Um, it, and then if anyone has a, a a better explanation of what's going on, then feel free to leave it in the comments. And then the circle of of education will be complete. So in here we're just essentially at this point we're just kind of specifying the individual corners that we want and placing them in the correct places. Um, so there's not an awful lot going on here. Um, my computer is having a fantastic time right now. It is screaming and shouting its way through all this. I don't know if you can actually hear that. Um, actually, to be fair, I, um, I have a new setup for the noise cancelling, so hopefully you can't hear that at all. You may be able to hear that just a tiny bit. Um, but yeah, it is quite loud for me. And then a radius times two, so I believe we're getting the the bottom right one now. And then we do uh, bulks equals width uh, minus radius and a height minus radius. And I'm gonna quickly check my plan. Yep, that's correct. And then we're gonna do m uh, dot put alpha alpha, and then we're gonna return um, m. <clears throat> And then we're going to run it, and it's inevitable that I've put base in there somewhere, because that's in my plan. Oh, God. I really need to like, make sure I don't do that. Um, oh, we'll do rounded in. Equals uh, round edges of our image. And then we're going to set that as a radius of 100. I found that to be quite good. Um, and then we do rounded im dot save dot slash image, saved images, sorry. Images slash um, rounded Ferrari dot PNG. And what I'll actually do as well, real quick, actually no, I won't bother with that uh, for now. I'll just show you this. Whoops, what in the world? Okay, <laughs> that was strange. Um, do you have a rounded Ferrari? And as you can now see, it's not circular, but it does have rounded Edges, and if I go back into GIMP real quick, and I turn this off, and I load, uh, open it as layers this time. Um, as you can see, it's the same affair. So we have this corner here. We can see the blue underneath it. Um, there's no checkerboard, and it's all it's all nicely rounded and everything. Uh, you can do this on a rectangular image as well. So I will quickly just show that off. Uh, images dot open dot slash images slash and we'll use the plane because you know the plane didn't get a lot of love during the filters one like I thought it uh, might so we'll we'll give it a bit of spotlight because it is a pretty cool plane and then we could just have we'll just have rounded them again it doesn't matter uh, round uh, edges if you're using my opponent's complaining about that then just feel free to change the uh, <laughs> the variable name and we'll set it to 250 to show you can have it more if you want uh, rounded dot save uh, dot slash save dash images slash rounded plane dot pung and I just will save both of them we'll have the rounded plane and as you can see it's taking a while to load there we go I don't know why that took such a long time to render but as you can see we have our images we have our corners rounded I might actually make it like 500 see if I can get a bit more of a, a good indication that it's actually doing it um, yeah, this rounded thing does take quite a bit. Okay, there we go. That's, yeah, that's a bit better. So if I just reload that in GIMP, turn that off, go File, Open. Okay, we'll just open it then. That's fine. I didn't want to open it as layers anyway. <laughs> but as you can see, whoa, that's a big image. <laughs> I kind of forgot it would be quite large. Um, and that should be fine. So scale it and then adjust it to be in the center like that. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> As you can see, we, our corners are still there and it's a rectangular image and it's all well and good. Uh, I might actually quickly go in and show you about a circle image with this. I probably won't bother putting it in the um, in GIMP this time. But I'll just kind of show you what happens if you try and um, put a circular effect on the on a rectangular image there we go circular plane uh oh it, it actually doesn't affect the aspect ratio it just makes it a, an ellipse 
Um, so if you wanted to make it truly circular, you can actually utilize the crop uh, up in here as well. So you could potentially say, can I get away with doing m, m equals crop? Okay, I'll quickly figure this out and then get back to you. <laughs> Okay, so we're back. Uh, it took a little while, so I'm not gonna show the actual coding process. Um, I thought this was actually covered by, you know, just the way it worked, but obviously it wasn't, so I thought I would just do this real quick. Um, so for this, I made an uh, an offset, which is the difference in the image's width and the, different, uh, and the image's height, and then divided that by two. And then essentially you just crop it, you start with, uh, so the top left corner is gonna be the offset, so this allows it to center because it's really easy to just crop it, but then you have it cropped all the way on the left. So this um, essentially crops it by zero, zero, image height, image height, and then just adds the offset. So it's essentially cropping it and then moving it, you can think of. It's cropping it in a specific way. But as you can see, our circular Ferrari is still as circular as it always was. And our circular plane is also circular, but now the plane is actually in the center. Um, and this, in theory should work for images that are taller as well. If not, then try swapping the height and the width and see if you get any image, uh, see if you get any differences. It might be a case of, it might actually have to be um, an entirely different way of doing it, which is kind of annoying. But in terms of, at least in terms of rectangle images, this will work. Uh, with vertical images, you know, you can play around with it. I'll leave that for you to do because the images, the video is getting really quite long. As always, if you have any questions, then don't be scared to ask in the comments or you can join the Discord server using the link in the description. But yeah, with that, I'd like to thank my super patron, Darky, uh, and the rest of my patrons for being as awesome as they are. And well, this is the end of the main series. There's still the request, as I said at the start of the video, feel free to leave any requests down below. And there is still the case studies. So the ones that I have planned at the moment are like a, a rank card and a welcome card for Discord, and then someone had the idea of putting a triggered filter on top, which I was not sure about at first, but I think I am actually going to do, because I think that would be kind of funny. But, as I said, if you have any suggestions, then feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, requests are still open. They will close eventually, but at time of recording they are open. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much it for this. I will see you next time for something else I suppose.